Okay. The future is female. This one is close to my heart because I don't have any children. And if I was a man in this reverse situation, I'd be called a beta cuck because my husband has full custody of his beautiful daughter. So I get to have the honor of thinking about and concentrating on raising a child. Raising a child to be an adult so when she is old enough, she can go off into the world and be smart and amazing. So she came home after spending time with her, with her mother, and she knows that I like her to journal. She's, she's seven. I like her to write about her dreams and her goals in the morning. She's like, oh, I got a new diary. Do you want to see it? And I said, yes, I want to see it. So she came out, and it, and it said, I'm a little feminist. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> OK. okay. And, then, and then I opened it up, and it said, the future is female. So I took, I said, can I have it? And I ran downstairs. <laughs> like, did you, you know, I'm looking at my husband right now. Did you see this? He's like, poor guy, no. Uh, can I talk to her about this? Yes. Okay. So I said, young lady, you're too, you don't even know what, what a feminist is. So I'm not going to go into that, but I'm slowly going to try to tempt you out of feminism as you grow up. But when you get older, you're going to have to decide for yourself. But the future is female. OK, let's talk about your dad. What does your, do you love your dad? I love my dad so much. OK, okay so why do, you, why do you love your dad? You know, like, what does he do? Well, he provides, and, and he you know, leads in the prayer, and he's funny, and he's really good at tickles, and we go on bike rides, and he wrestles, and OK, great. And then we went through all the men in our life. Are they good? Yeah, they're great. OK, well, what about your mom? Yeah, she's awesome. OK, why? Well, she teaches me, and she cooks, and OK, what about Jennifer? And what about all the women? I said, I, and she wants to be grown up so much. I said, when you're a big girl, do you want to just hang out with women? She's like, no, <laughs> like, me neither. <laughs> do you want a husband one day? Yeah, do you want, do you want t your dad to be around? Yes. So we added male and. So now it says the future is male and female. Because that's, I mean, we have to fight against this. If you don't raise your children, one day you'll have to fight them. So I, I think that we have to catch children. I know this it almost sounds culty, but, but minds are malleable at any age. But we have to, I think, catch children and just raise them with logic and nurturing. And I think they'll come out ahead. Honorable conversations cannot be had with someone who's hysterical. I think that most feminists are pretty hysterical. Men and women. So let's catch them before that. When I was a little girl, I really, <laughs> I would always start a club. Like when I was like 10 years old, before recess, I'd be like, if you want, I'm starting a club. And if you want to be a part of my club, just come and sign up. And guess what? All the girls would come and sign up for a club. What are we going to do? Nothing. I mean, they just want to be a part of something. We all just want to be a part of something. So I think of feminism. You know, it's just a, a thing that women do. It's, it's a club. It's a sisterhood. I have no problem with that, but it's kind of, no, it is toxic. I think of gangs for men, well, and women. Maybe this is a gang. Maybe it is a gang. So how do we, how do we catch that before? Well, it was, it was difficult because, like I said, I, I always like to go first with a speech because every speech that we heard, I looked at, I looked at my husband and was like, I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk. So everyone that spoke is probably like, what a poacher. We talked about that. But it's not. I really came up with this a while ago. So my idea is to keep families intact. Girls with no fathers in the home have lower self-esteem. OK, fine. That sucks. But also, women with low self-esteem are, are more promiscuous. 